Hi, we are Core Rover Team from Koç University, Istanbul, Turkey, and this is our first generation rover, Arius. Our team was founded last year in 2024. Since then, we have become a multidisciplinary team that consists of both engineering and non-engineering measures. We have more than 20 people working on our rover. We provide opportunities to our members to develop both their technical knowledge and soft skills. Our team consists of six main sections. In the engineering sections, we have mechanical, electronical, software and AI, and science teams. In the non-engineering sections, we have management and media teams. Hi, I'm the captain of the mechanical section in Koch University Rover Team. With 10 people, we are designing and manufacturing the brand new rover design for the ERC-25. Hi, I am the captain of the software and AI team. Our team focuses on the programming control of the rover. This year, we try to focus on stable communication and performant navigation on the Mars app while using minimalistic hardware. With four members, we try to form a multidisciplinary team so that we could have people from different backgrounds and maximize innovation. Hi, I'm the captain of the ELAC team of Kut. We are four engineers and we design circuits, establish communication between electronical components and sensors. Hi, we are the science team. We prepare the geological maps required for the navigation and exploration tasks. We also write scientific reports, form hypotheses and conduct experiments. Hello, as a sponsorship and media team, with four members we create all the media content and manage sponsor relationships. This year, we want to grow our team and build our rover from scratch. We also want to broaden our vision and represent our country in an international competition. European Rover Challenge is a great opportunity for us. That's why we decided to join ERC this year. Our rover consists of five main components. The main chassis, a differential system, custom wheels, a 60 degree of freedom robotic manipulator, and a drilling mechanism for deep sampling tasks. Our rover is one meter in length, 60 centimeters in width, and 80 centimeters tall. Our chassis consists of three parts, two identical driving legs and one core. We used aluminum Sigma profiles in our design, which resulted in a light but also sturdy design. We used plexiglass plates on our core, which allows us to organize our electronics. While designing our wheel, we ensured that it would be able to dissipate energy efficiently. So we used 3D printers with Petri filament for our wheels. For the tires, we used resin molding. Our research led us to Shore Forte RTV2 silicone, which can vulcanize in room temperature and has high tear resistance. Our design ensures that we have high grip on uneven terrain, and so we can traverse on even the harshest conditions. We designed a counter-rotating differential attached to the bottom of our chassis. Using our ball joints and differential bar, we can traverse in terrain up to 30 degrees. We use 24, 12 and 5 volt batteries in our rover. All of them share the common ground through the emergency stop button, which cuts off all the power in case of an emergency. The 24 volt battery is stepped down to 18 volt to power the wheel motors and three motors of the robotic arm. The 12 volt battery powers the drill mechanism and the remaining three motors of the robotic arm. The 5 volt supply is used for electronics and sensors. We organize the power distribution with, within the battery unit and follow a black box approach. Most of the connections have XT connectors, making the rover easy to assemble and maintain. As a software and AI team, we use Vibos to test the mechanisms our team designed. We also use a simulation environment to develop our algorithms. We tested the inverse kinematics of our robotic arm and we started programming the, our robotic arm on the simulation software. We use reinforcement learning to train an actor critic model, which we will then use to do the navigation task on the Mars yard. We utilize curriculum learning to increase the difficulty of the problem incrementally. Also, we will train multiple models and we'll choose the superior one when all tests are done. By mapping geologic and digital elevation model data, we will find a suitable place to land our rover on Mars, Valles Marinaris. We will develop a geological exploration plan based on our map form a testable hypothesis, and carry out scientific exploration that includes collecting and weighing surface and deep samples, performing pH analysis, and evaluating data to confirm or refine our hypothesis.
For the droning task, we started with a custom FPV drone as a base and modified it to suit our needs. With a weight of just under 450 grams, our total flight time is around 6 minutes. In the video, our drone is built on a pre-cut carbon frame. But in the final product, we are going to 3D print a custom ABS frame. For the drone component of the competition, we're designing and building a stable flight platform with manual and autonomous control capabilities. To properly complete the competition tasks, our quadcopter is equipped with image-based position tracking and can detect, navigate to, land, and take off from the designated target areas while maintaining stability in the air. Our 60 degree freedom robotic manipulator is one of the most versatile components of the rover. It's designed to perform complex tasks in unstructured environments. With a reach of one meter and a payload capacity of three kilograms, it's capable of interacting with both objects near and far with precision and stability. The arm is powered by six high-torque, high-precision servo motors, each selected to ensure smooth and coordinated motion across all degrees of freedom. We have implemented immersed kinematics and trajectory planning algorithms to allow for precise positioning and controlled movements, critical during sample collection or maintenance. The manipulator features two easily interchangeable end effectors, a gripper for manipulating tools and objects, and a scoop for surface sampling. Tool chains can be completed within seconds, allowing the rover to adapt to specific tasks requirements on the fly. To fulfill the deep sampling component of the science task, we have built an enclosed auger drill that is capable of drilling down and retrieving samples from more than 30 cm depth with a container for securely storing and weighing up to 200 grams of soil sample.